the business of skin bleaching is booming. A growing number of people in Africa are using creams, pills and injections to lighten their skin, but many are illegal and unregulated. Some believe a fairer complexion is the secret to success. This particular cream is OK because if you use other creams, you might get sunburnt. Since I started using this cream, people have been complimenting me. My skin isn't too dark or too light. I keep my natural complexion. The products reduce the body's production of melanin, which gives skin its colour. Globally, the industry is worth about $20 billion and is expected to grow to $31 billion by 2024. Ghana has one of the fastest growing markets in Africa. From the poorest to the middle class and to the rich class, they all, a good number of them bleach. In my last research, I found out that when you go to the marketplaces, six out of 10 bleach. Those who can afford it opt for more expensive registered products, but many have to settle for bootleg versions that have not been tested. These products contain high concentrates of hydroquinone and mercury. Long-term use can cause skin cancer and have other serious side effects, according to medical reports. We now see this, this massive trend of, of increased use, particularly in, in our teenagers and our early 20-somethings. 20, 20 you start to affect not only the upper layers of the skin, but you also affect the deeper layers of the skin to such an extent that at a particular point, the whole process becomes reversed. You get much darker areas of the, of the, uh, the skin, and, and eventually the skin is destroyed to such an extent that only laser surgery or resurfacing surgery uh, becomes the answer. Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa and Kenya have now banned these types of bleaching products, but it's led to a booming black market. Professor Davids warns that skin lightening can even become addictive and that it will take time for black cultural movements to change ideas about what it means to be beautiful. Liz Maddock, TRT World.